Hey guys out there in computer land, I told you not only do we update our specials here at georgecolemanford.com, but we keep you up to date on the weather because we care about our customers. Without further delay, here's Mr. Coleman, our meteorologist. Hey everybody, I'm Greg Coleman and today is Thursday and it is the 17th of the month. And uh, hey, we don't normally do a midweek video, but on Monday I talked to you about a few things and said might have to do a special one this week and here we are at our homemade map and this one we're entitling if you can see it the milk and bread how many loaves that is the category today so what we're going to talk about is you remember on Monday if you saw the video we talked about way up here somewhere in Greenland the blocking that might start taking place and it has and that has begun to get more cold air brought down into our area which today really is not that bad honestly but there is some cold, dry air, air here, and we knew a storm had a chance to form down here in the Gulf of Mexico. And the question early in the week was, would this storm just shoot right off the coast and not catch up with any of the cold air, the energy coming from the north, or would it stop right about here, right off our coast, and really generate into a big storm? And it looks like pretty certain now. I think it's about 100% certain there will be a big storm. It will be moving across the Gulf Coast. It will form a big storm here. Of course, we're in this area up in here. There will be a lot of precipitation being thrown back into it. So I think we'll get plenty of moisture. The question is, everybody's question, how much of it will be rain? How much of it could be ice, sleet, snow? And I don't know all the answers, but we're gonna talk about it today. Woke up this morning, there's a winter storm watch. How about that? In December before Christmas. So I think the chances are pretty good that we're going to see some snow. We still, the, the jury is out, to be honest with you, about how much. It could be anywhere from just seeing a few flakes fall uh, to seeing a good bit of sleet fall to seeing a fairly good bit of snow. The ground is still kind of warm, so it'll take a while to accumulate. But honestly, in, in South Carolina, North Carolina, somewhere from this storm, there truly could be a foot or more of snow, if you can believe that. So this is just one of those days that for people like me, the amateur meteorologist, it's exciting. So I wanted to let you know, beware. How many lows? I'm not sure. I would say it's fun to go to the store regardless just to see all the people out. Certainly buy one loaf. Will it be a two, three loaf deal? Maybe all the loaves you can find? <laughs> I don't know. I doubt it, honestly. I can see it being more of a mixture of rain and snow, sleet, that kind of thing. The farther north you go into the mountains of South Carolina, North Carolina, the better chance you got of seeing all snow. But anyway, it should start pretty early tomorrow, it looks like now. I thought originally it would be like a Saturday deal. It looks like it's going to start early Friday, and we'll know pretty soon what it's going to be. It should. Chances are it could start as snow. If a cold or a warm nose of air, air gets in at the higher levels, that would change it over to a, a, either a sleet or rain type thing. So there's still a lot of questions. We'll know more as we get closer to it. Might do one more update. We'll see. But anyway, should be a lot of fun. Enjoy it. And I'm going to give you a very important number. I'm going to walk across here, right in the middle of the United States. The number is 31. Got any idea what that represents? Well, probably most people don't. I do. It is the number of four-wheel drive vehicles we have here at George Coleman Ford. So don't forget the snow, sleet, whatever's coming. And we talked about it before. I don't, I don't think this is a one-time deal either. It's, the pattern is setting up to where there are chances of more winter storms coming. After this storm goes by, by the way, it's going to be cold. So if we do get snow, chances are it's going to stay a while. And there are varying models about next week, Christmas week, um, you know, it could be uh, warmer and rainy, but it looks, there's a really good chance that it could stay cold and maybe another winter storm somewhere around Christmas Eve or Christmas next week. Who knows? I mean, wouldn't that be exciting? More cold air coming after that. So remember, 31 four-wheel drives might be a good time to get one. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Y'all have a great time. Enjoy the snow.